The competition we attended is called the University Rover Challenge, URC, and it's a competition for university students organized by the Mars Society, which is a non-profit that does research into Mars life and science engineering. This competition, which is organized every year in Utah, in the desert, uh, takes university-built Mars rovers and makes them compete in four missions uh, across four days. The competition itself is run and organized with the help of uh, former NASA engineers who have worked on real Mars missions. So the ability of being able to build a rover and showcase it in front of like judges, which have real experience working on a real Mars rover, was really exciting. And the learning opportunities we got from that was really amazing. The first one is called Extreme Retrieval. It consists of a rover driving over rough terrain and picking up a series of objects on different locations and dropping them in another location, similar to what Mars rovers do on Mars. The second mission is called the Science Mission. Thanks to a special camera mounted on our rover, we had to analyze traces of life in rock and soil samples. So ERAS components has been fundamental to us. We sourced a wide variety of products. Um, so for example, the science system, which is mounted at the end of the robotic arm, has its own Raspberry Pi and its own Arduino, are taken from ERAS components, and that works by itself. It's only connected with the USB cable to the antenna, and that sends the pictures and the data back to the rover. So being able to have specific small-scale computers, like Arduinos and Raspberry Pis, is extremely helpful and beneficial for us. Uh, the third mission, the Robotic Dexterity Mission, makes use of our robotic arm and our grippers to operate a lander. Um, that means pressing a series of buttons and switches, similar to what future Mars rover would be doing a Mars repairing instrument. And the fourth mission is called the Autonomous Mission. Basically, um, using its autonomous capabilities, our rover must be able to go from point A to point B, avoiding obstacles. And when reaching point B, it must be able to find a yellow tennis ball marker and identify it. Well, most teams of the URC are composed of 40 to 50 people, and us only having six people was, was really challenging, and we're very happy of our results this year. The team overall placed itself 19th out of 36 teams in the final, and out of 90 teams, considering all the teams that applied to compete at the URC. Um, on top of that, that is an important improvement from last year's team's result, where they placed itself 28th at the competition. So this is an improvement on our score, which we're very happy and proud of. After seeing the terrain uh, and after seeing underway perform, of course, I think first of all more testing would be very important um, to actually assure the durability of the system and also new wheels and investigating different traction systems for a wheel would be interesting. I really think that in the next 10, 15 years we're going to keep on seeing new discoveries, new exploration, perhaps taking humans on Mars um, and I think there's really no limit to the things we can discover with space exploration. <laughs>